Good morning, Kid City Kids. Let me hear you say, yeah. You can do better than that. Let me hear you say, yeah. All right. Hey, welcome to our online service. This week is all about trusting in God. Last week, I know that we talked to you about not being afraid of having zero fear. And this week is all about trusting in God. Through all of this that's going on, you can have no fear if you trust in God. Today's going to be a great service. So get ready. Stand up. Right where you're at, stand up. I know you're sitting down. I can stand up. You got to stand up. All right. Put your hands up and get ready to worship God. It's going to be a great service today. So get ready.
that's the power. Yeah, I got his power. So don't hold back, no, don't hold still. The guy is here and he is real. Take four steps to the left, to the left. One, two, three, four. Turn it around and move to the right. One, two, three. Now take tiny little jumps, four to the front. Hey, Dot, do you have a second? You can talk to me while I type. Okay. Do you know where someone could get a, a great watermelon? I'm going to a barbecue after work. I'm a kid, Tony. I've never bought a whole watermelon in my life. Uh, hmm. Fair enough, yeah. Why do you think- What, what, what? Are you okay? I'm fine. It's just that I haven't seen a Hawaiian shirt since. Go on. It all started two years ago. Is anybody here? Hello? What's going on? Where is everybody? Who's there? <laughs> Dot. Are they gone? Who? The Hawaiian shirts! We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name is Ray, and this is the time that things got casual at HQ. It was horrible. Just horrible! Okay, just tell me what happened. It was... it was... I just can't say it. Yes, you can. You're safe now. Just tell me what happened. Casual Friday happened! Casual Friday? The horror! Okay, let's try this again from the beginning. Okay. It all started a few weeks ago. Man, I'm loving this new casual Friday. Yeah, it's great being able to wear your normal clothes every once in a while. Why is everything in black and white? It's too horrible to remember in color. I kind of miss our uniforms. What are you, crazy? It's nice not having to figure out what to wear every day. Afraid of what others might think if you wear the wrong thing. Afraid of looking stupid. You look fine. Nick, what a person wears would never make me think less of them. Hey, everyone. I take it back. What on earth are you wearing? It's my new Hawaiian shirt. You like it? You look absolutely ridiculous. Well, what do the rest of you think? Uh, it's, uh, it's colorful. And bright? Yeah, very bright. I think you could see that shirt from space. 
It's the perfect attire for a Hawaiian luau. These shirts are the latest craze. They're fun. They're festive. Everybody's wearing them. Everybody? Why does Winston sound like a robot? That's how I remember it. Look me up when you're ready to look cool like everybody else. Don't hold your breath. <laughs> if I wear that shirt, I'll be like everybody else. That was bad. You all teasing Winston for what he was wearing? Oh, I haven't gotten to the bad part yet. It's a terrible thing to waste your time worrying about what other people are thinking and trying to please them. Winston didn't seem all that worried. Good. I always try to remember this point. I live only for God. That's a good one. Now, can I get back to my terrible tale? Sure. <clears throat> a week later, Mike, Vanessa, and I were working in the hub. Another casual Friday. Here we are working in the hub on another casual Friday. You already covered that part. Oh, right. I love casual Friday. I see you're wearing your Hawaiian shirt again. Always. They're fun. They're festive. Everybody's wearing them. Who else is wearing them? Nick, for one. But why? It's great. I know what I'm going to wear when I wake up in the morning. I don't have to worry. Plus, it's great for a Hawaiian luau. But it's just so bright. But that's part of the fun. That's right. And everybody's wearing them. Not everybody. You're right. Just the men are. Oh, uh, just the men? The guys downstairs are wearing them. And the men in all of our field offices. I guess you're the only man who doesn't have on a Hawaiian shirt. The only man not wearing a Hawaiian shirt? So sad. Whoa, whoa, no, not sad, never sad. It's a shame too, because they're fun. They're festive. Everybody's, Everybody's wearing, wearing them. them. I don't think they sound it like that. That's how I remember it. Well, it sounds like Mike was starting to worry about what people thought. Of course. People want to be popular. Nobody wants to be made fun of. I know, but we can't live our lives afraid of people. We should only live for God. It's like it says in the book of Proverbs, chapter 29, verse 25. Say it with me like this. Proverbs 29, 25. Proverbs 29, 25. Fearing people is a dangerous trap. Fearing people is a dangerous trap. But trusting the Lord, but trusting the Lord, means safety. Means safety. Feeling better? I'll feel better when this casual Friday is over. <sighs> All right. Tell me what happened today. Well, when I came in this morning. Hi, Dot. Hi, Nick. Are you feeling okay? I'm fine. You don't look so good. She doesn't look so good because she's not wearing a Hawaiian shirt. I don't want to wear a Hawaiian shirt. How could you not want to wear one? It's what the cool people wear. They're so colorful and comfortable. They're, They're fun. fun. They're, They're festive. Mike, help! Hi, Dot. What? What are you wearing? It's my new Hawaiian shirt. Isn't it awesome? <laughs> What's that in your hand? Oh, these are scissors for Vanessa. They're for a skit about getting a haircut. Oh, no, in your other hand. Oh, it's your Hawaiian shirt. Perfect for a luau. I don't want it. But they're fun. They're festive. Everybody's wearing them. Vanessa! Vanessa! <sighs> You're OK. Of course I'm OK. My goodness, Dot, you look really worried. What's wrong? No time to explain. 
We've got to get out of here! I can't right now. I'm about to rehearse my skit. Or I will be as soon as Mike gets here with those scissors. It's too late. He's one of them now. What are you talking about? The Hawaiian shirts got him. We're the only ones left now. I'm not sure how much longer I can hold out. There, there. It'll be okay. And even if you did give in, it's not really that big of a deal. They are fun. Fun? Yeah, and they are festive. No! Everyone's wearing them. No! Join us, Dot. Don't you want to be like everybody else? That's when I ran in here to hide. I wonder where everyone went. This thing must sound pretty silly. Maybe I should just dress like everyone else. So I don't think I'm weird. <laughs> no, we don't have to just go along with the crowd because we're worried about what they might say. I should only worry about making decisions that trust and honor God, right? <laughs> That's it, exactly. You know what? It reminds me of the story of Daniel. Let me grab something. Here. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. This book is alive, full of answers and godly advice. This book is alive. is alive. God's people disobeyed him, so he let their enemies take them into captivity. They destroyed Jerusalem and carried away many of the Jews to their own country, Babylon. Daniel was one of the Jews in Babylon. He trusted God and prayed to him three times a day. God blessed Daniel, and he became a powerful leader in that country. Some leaders were jealous of Daniel, so they made a new law. People could only pray to King Darius. Whoever disobeyed would be thrown into a lion's den. Darius agreed. Daniel still prayed to God and was arrested. Darius was sad. He liked Daniel. He realized he'd been tricked but couldn't change the law. Daniel was thrown to the lions. The lions roared and crept up to Daniel. Then an angel arrived. It was God who sent him. The angel shut the lions' mouths. Daniel spent the night there unharmed. At daybreak, Darius went to see if Daniel was alive. God sent an angel to save me, Daniel said. The king was thrilled. Daniel was pulled out of the den. Then King Darius had Daniel's enemies thrown into the den. The lions gobbled them up. King Darius told everyone in his kingdom to honor Daniel's powerful living God. See, Daniel had a tough decision to make, and he chose the way that honored God. Instead of worrying about what other people thought. Exactly. Hey, what is this? We are having a Hawaiian luau outside in the courtyard. Come join us. Come as you are. No Hawaiian shirts <laughs> required. Well, that explains two things. What? One, it explains where everyone is. And two? It explains where I'm going. Dressed just like I am because I live only for God. <laughs> Sounds great. I think I'll join you. <laughs> Wait up, Dot. I'm Dot. Things got a little scared around here today. I was scared what people would think of me. Maybe you get scared about what people think of you too. But we don't need to be. There's a great Bible verse that helps us remember that. Proverbs 29, 25. Fearing people is a dangerous trap, but trusting the Lord means safety. In the Bible, 
Daniel trusted the Lord. Instead of fearing people, Daniel could have let fear take over and go with the crowd who were worshiping the king. But he knew that it was more important to serve God. Because Daniel honored God, God protected him from the hungry lions. Today, everyone was dressing and acting alike. I started to worry what people would think of me if I didn't go along. But Ray reminded me that I should only worry about trusting and honoring God. In the end, it all comes down to this one main point. I live only for God. His is the only opinion that really matters. Well, that's it for this time. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. Boy, who would have thought that just a few Hawaiian shirts could cause such a ruckus? But I do understand how easy it is to worry what someone might do if you don't go along with what they say, think, or do. That's why it's best to follow Jesus. We can always trust him, and he'll always be with us and protect us. When we live for him, we don't have to worry about anyone else. Exactly. That being said, I would appreciate it if you wouldn't wear a Hawaiian shirt again anytime soon. It's not that I'll hold it against you if you do. It's just... It's just you don't want to make screaming at a Hawaiian shirt a regular occurrence. <laughs> uh, it's too bad. I really like this shirt. It's fun. It's festive. And... It, I, so I'm, I'm, you know what, you're right. My mistake. Sorry. <laughs> You'd let me know if anyone else was going to sneak up on me, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? When we follow Jesus, we don't have to worry about what anyone else might do, which is one of the best feelings ever. Nothing is better than knowing God is always by our side. If you've never followed Jesus, you can make that decision today. All you have to remember are the ABCs. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying Him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you are forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C, choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. If you want to make that decision today, be sure to talk about it with your parents or a leader you can trust. Well, hey, that concludes our service for today. I hope you guys had a great and awesome time. God loves you and he's always going to be there so you can always trust in him. Listen, come back next week. We have an amazing service plan for you guys. We love you, and we're praying for you, and we can't wait to see you again. God bless.